Welcome into our Locked On NBA Insider Report. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens. Mike Richmond joining us from Locked On Blazers. It is NBA Free Agency Day, so all of the stuff is going down. Not a free agency signing for Portland, but they're keeping one of their guys. Anthony Simons is getting an extension, four years, $100 million. So what does that mean for those that are unfamiliar for him to be coming back at that, at that number and also for that amount of time? Hard to hard to look at this number and not think that Jalen Brunson got Anthony Simons a raise. Uh, the the reported numbers and the sort of the speculated numbers for a long time were about twenty million average annual value for Anthony Simons, and then this week we heard Jalen Brunson signing for north of a hundred million, one hundred and five, hundred and ten million, depending on where it comes in at. And I think that helped Anthony Simons as his camp say, "Listen, Jalen Brunson's been more productive than than in the league, but you pay for potential with these contracts." Tracks. And certainly, Anthony Simons has a potential to outperform what Brunson has done so far in the league. And I think Ant got a raise thanks to the New York Knicks. The Knicks always helping out. They're so helpful that way. Um, obviously, it's a little bit positional as well, because when you have someone that's good and, and in your system is playing well, you want to you know pay that off and hope for the best. But where how have you seen him progress over the last couple of years and, and what can we expect from him going forward? Right. He was maybe thrust into a big minute role a year too early in his second season. He wasn't qu- quite ready. His third season, he was fine and t- and was better, but he wasn't quite there. And then this season, he started from being a pretty pretty good contributor. And then when everyone got hurt and, and the final 32 games of Anthony Simon's season, he averaged close to all-star level numbers, uh, north of 27 points on, uh, you know, above league average shooting. Uh, he shot over 40% from three on almost nine attempts per game. Like the dude is really, really special on offense. And I think there's maybe some concerns about his overall fit on a team led by Damian Lillard, but Portland is not in a position where they could let him leave. He's too talented to let him leave. And so they paid to keep him around for a long time, which was, which was always the plan, quite frankly. What does this mean in terms of Dame? Obviously um, they want to keep him, whether he wants to stay, we'll see, but is this kind of a backup plan of like, Hey, we're going to continue to build the best team we can, whether or not Damian Lillard is going to be here long-term. Yeah. I mean, I think quite frankly, we are going to hear that Damian Lillard signed a two-year $100 million extension here in the next couple minutes. I'll, I'll hop back on, Kanani. We can, we can do this, we can <laughs> do this all over again. We can, make, we can make another one of these. So, um, you know, I think they are going to lock into this group. I think we're mm-hmm. going to hear Yusuf Nurkic signed here shortly, too, as of this, as of this recording. We haven't heard that. So uh, I think Ant is not necessarily Dame Insurance, but it's they want to be good. They want to be as good as they possibly can. And so ha- keeping the best, the best, most talented young players you have is just sort of part of what they had to do. You know, obviously they were ravaged by injuries last season. If they do keep the core of this group, what's the ceiling for them if everybody, you know, knock on wood, stays healthy here? <laughs> You're going to do this to me again. Yep. I mean, oh, man. It. The ceiling is something like the fifth best team in the West, and that's like really rosy right now. Yeah. Uh, that's really like some of my listeners are mad. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think fifth in the West is pretty much as good as they could be currently. They're a long way from a finished product. They got a long way to go to get there. But I think they're probably in that lower tier i think they're probably a play-in type team as of right now with you know if if everything breaks right or doesn't break right uh yeah. health wise i think yeah a fifth competing for the fifth fifth seed in a really good western conference that has probably gotten better over the last half hour absolutely going forward obviously dame is the number one priority but what else does this team you know need in terms of adding on to this roster to hopefully improve that they got to get bigger up front. Like they they have one center on the roster right now. Um, they have they have one player over six foot nine on the roster, and that's Yusuf Nurkic. They have to get bigger. Uh, they need they probably need another forward, another guy who can play power forward, and, and at least one more center, if not two. Uh, that's beyond use of Nurkic. Like they need to re-sign use of Nurkic and then and then add another backup center. They have to get bigger. That's got to be a priority for them. Uh, luckily, centers are relatively cheap, so they can probably wait around and figure that out. But uh, some of the the names that they might have wanted have already flown off the board pretty quickly here in the early in free agency. All right, we'll keep an eye on things, of course. Could be back in mere moments, Mike. I don't know when we'll talk to you next. Uh, For everyone else, check in Locked on Blazers, of course, wherever you get your podcasts. Check out YouTube as well. I'm Kainani Stevens. This has been Locked on NBA.